What's up, New Eggs? Kenan here with New Egg Now, always bringing you the best products for the sweetest, sweetest prices. If you're in the market for an ATX mid tower case, this might be the one for you. The Dark Flash Phantom ATX mid tower computer case. A lot of good stuff going on here. Let's work from the outside in, shall we? It looks powerful, it makes a stark, stoic impression. This is gonna be good for ATX, micro ATX, and mini ITX builds. You've got three transparent glass panels to show off the light show going on inside. There are actually pre-installed RGB LED fans, more on that later. The thumb screws, all right, make it very easy to open the side panels and access your components. I love thumb screws. I'll say that in every video where we have thumb screws because they're just that amazing. Thank you, Dark Flash. The top I.O. panel includes a power button, reset button, two USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, HD audio and mic, and a button to control the lights. Look at that. All right, you'll also notice a magnetic dust frame filter up top. Okay, good, good. Let me, uh, let's get a, yeah, let's get a look at that. A magnetic frame dust filter up here. And let's open up the side panel and we'll check out what's going on on the inside. All right, so I've removed all three of the glass panels, so now we can see what's going on on the inside. The Phantom ATX mid tower case is gonna provide you with remarkable expansion power. I'll remind everyone this is for ATX, micro ATX, and mini ITX motherboards. It'll support various cooling solutions. I'll talk about that in a second. We got room for three two and a half inch drive bays in front and two three and a half inch drive bays in the back. You've got six pre-installed, pre-installed DR12 RGB fans. You got four 120 millimeter L RGB LED fans in the front and two 120 millimeter fans in the rear. This provides great cooling and a dynamic cyber gaming atmosphere. There's room for two 120 millimeter or 140 millimeter fans on top. Three 120 millimeter fans can fit on the bottom. Uh, you could have top water cooling up to 240 millimeters, front water cooling up to a height of 360 millimeters, or rear water cooling of 120 millimeters. You get a maximum VGA card length of 350 millimeters and a maximum CPU cooler height of 155 millimeters. All right, so check your specs, make sure it works. The machine is already on, so we have an idea of the light show that's going on here with the six pre-installed RGB fans, very awesome. I'm going to use the included remote control to adjust the colors. All right, so let's check that out. Adjusting some colors, bam, bam, bam. All right, that's very cool. I can also use the button on the top IO panel to adjust the color effects as well. So let me do that a few times. Just clicking the button. <laughs> okay, now behind the other side panel, I'm gonna turn this around. Let's see what we've got going on here. So behind the other side panel, there's a controller hub right here for up to eight fans. Okay, so my remote controller is connecting to this hub, allowing me to make these adjustments conveniently through the power of RF. All right, so uh, notice also on the inside, we've got a very neat internal design on the chassis, providing us with efficient cable management. That's so important. All right, look how nicely this is. So all the important stuff is clean up front. We've also got another magnetic dust filter on the bottom. Let's see if I can get that here. Another magnetic dust filter on the bottom. Okay, so all in all, you're gonna have a fantastic light show. You're keeping the dust out. Your cables are managed properly. It's checking all the boxes. Your rig is gonna look really, really good. Some people might be wondering about the decision to have fans arranged this way. We can talk briefly about PC airflow optimization. It's good to know how cooling works inside of a computer case. Essentially, you have two types of fans, intake and exhaust. Intake fans face the inside of the case. They draw air from the outside and blow it in. 
intake. Exhaust fans draw air from the inside of the case and blow it out. Exhaust. While this is happening, your machine is going to work, it's chugging along, you're editing videos, you're pwning noobs, and your computer parts are heating up. The heated air will rise, which is why the exhaust fans are placed at the top and at the rear. Right? They take this heated air and blow it out. Simultaneously, the intake fans at the front and the bottom, they blow cold air in. With different kinds or quantities of fans in different places, you create three types of airflow. You've got negative internal air pressure, positive internal air pressure, or slightly positive internal air pressure. Negative internal air pressure means more air is going out than in. If you only have one or two fans, I suggest you choose this type. Imagine if we only had the exhaust fans, all right? That would mean placing all your fans at the rear panel. While this is an effective way to cool your system, it might result in more dust being pulled into your case over time because air is being drawn in where there isn't a place to have a filter, all right? There's positive internal air pressure, meaning you have more air being blown into the case than out. This is good, but not if you take it to the extreme, all right? Too much air being blown in might result in not enough airflow on the inside. Hot air might get trapped. The extreme would be like taking a leaf blower and just blowing it into your computer, uh, which is why I'm sure it's obvious that what we want is slightly positive internal air pressure, okay? We want slightly positive internal air pressure. If you have three or more fans, this is the optimal setup. It's gonna keep everything cool and clean Air will be drawn primarily from your intake fans, and it's easier to filter. More balanced airflow will mean enough air is also being exhausted, reducing the probability of hot, stagnant air, causing the internal temperature to rise above desired levels. With this case, you see we've got six pre-installed fans. We've got four intake fans, four intake fans, and two exhaust fans. What does that mean, class? Yes, positive internal air pressure. With double the amount of fans in the front, we might be worried about too much air being blown in though, right? We just talked about that. Maybe not enough air is being blown out. You know, we, we do have the mesh panel uh, at, the bop, the, at the top and the bottom. So the hard drive, VGA and CPU, they're all heating air, making hot air rise to the top. All right, so the best optimization is placing an extra fan at the top panel. All right, so even though we have six fans here, the best way to optimize this case would be perhaps to add a fan at the top panel. Uh, you know, but if you don't have an extra one, you can use one of the front fans instead. You could take the uppermost intake fan and put it right there on top. You'd have balanced airflow in to out. Of course, if you have larger or faster fans, or even a radiator, your optimization will be different. Just remember, try to design a slightly positive internal air pressure environment. And that's pretty much it, eggheads. Dark Flash has delivered a really sweet setup here. You're getting a lot of value for your money. You've got three transparent glass side panels, really flashy. You've got both USB 3.0 and 2.0 ports on the top, along with audio and a switch to control the lights. You've got six pre-installed 120 millimeter RGB LED fans. You've got that remote controller. You've got that desired slightly positive air pressure environment. You've got dust filters, cable management. Basically, all we're waiting for is for you to slap your ATX motherboard in here and start gaming. Let us know what you think of the Dark Flash Phantom in the comments and reviews. For specific prices, please check the description or click that link below. The Dark Flash Phantom ATX Mid Tower Computer Case. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. 
What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, bringing you the best products for the best prices. Super excited to introduce to you the Aoster Motor S07B electric bike today. As you can see, I've already got it assembled in front of me. It comes 90% pre-assembled in the box already, all parts carefully packaged and protected. In the box, you get the e-bike, battery charger, toolkit, and user manual. If you're in the market for an electric bike, you already know prices can go from 500 bucks all the way up to $8,000. Pretty exorbitant prices out there. So why buy an electric bike anyway? With an e-bike, you get to combine the benefits of a traditional bicycle with the added benefits of easily climbing hills or fighting the wind. Those can make cycling quite a drag. <laughs> if you have joint pain or asthma, an e-bike can allow you to experience the joy of cycling without being in pain. Get you back out there enjoying nature, either in solitude or with friends and family. The Aoster Motor S07B is an awesome model on more of the budget end of the spectrum yet still delivering many of the great perks that the expensive bikes deliver. Let's get into it. Okay, from the outside working in, the S07B uses a strong and lightweight aluminum alloy frame suitable for users of height 5'4", up to 6'5", and up to about 300 pounds. It's equipped with a front light, a rear reflector, front and rear disc brakes, Shimano Outer 7 speed derailleur, you get a switch for a shock absorber, all right? Suitable for more complex terrain, keeping you comfy no matter where you are, very good. Let's talk motor and battery. Aoster Motor gives you a 750 watt high speed brushless motor and removable lithium battery right here. Strong, strong driving force, long endurance. This battery is a 48 volt, 13 amp hour lithium battery. Can you guess what speed you can achieve with this motor and battery combo? Many e-bikes out there can't top 20 miles per hour. So the fact that this one can do 20 miles per hour is pretty good. Just kidding. You get a top speed of 25 miles per hour. Charge the battery in four to six hours and you're gonna get 30 to 43 miles of distance out of just one charge. The variance will depend of course on the amount of hills and your speed. But this is more than enough power for a regular daily commute, grocery run, or just enjoying a quick frolic around nature. And also, that's only if you're using e-bike mode, all right? You get three modes, e-bike, pedal assisted, and normal pedaled mode. You can obviously use it as a regular bike, so you can get far more distance out of the bike if you were going to conserve a little bit of power along the way, right? Maybe pedal yourself along level terrain and then use the e-bike mode just to climb hills. All right, one charge will last you a super long time that way. All right, so quick recap so far. Aluminum alloy frame, suitable for users 5'4 to 6'5, less than 300 pounds. Charge the removable battery in four to six hours. Get 30 to 43 miles out of one charge, speeds up to 25 miles per hour, and three working modes, e-bike, pedal assisted, and normal pedaled mode. Let's check out these fat tires. All right, this is pretty insane. 26 by four inch fat tires, giving you incredible traction. You'll have absolutely no problem cruising over beach, snow, gravel, rain, dirt, sand, even ice, all right? Suitable for all terrain. I don't care if you're in Alaska, Death Valley, Machu Picchu, riding in the snow or on a beach, your journey is only limited by your imagination, and it is not limited by these tires. Moving over to the display, you've got an SW LCD display. They even give you a USB port under the meter to charge your phone while you're traveling. Imagine that. If you've got headphones or a Bluetooth headset on, you're riding along, streaming music, listening to an audiobook, or even on a conference call on the way to work, arrive at your destination, phone still fully charged. It's, it's those little things in life, right? So nice. And that's pretty much everything I can impart about this bicycle without you riding it yourself. It's definitely a great long-term investment. Riding an e-bike can save a lot on transportation costs. It's good for the environment. It's great for your body, for your mental health. You can use the bike traditionally without power for a full workout or use e-bike mode and pedal assist to get up those tough hills, work through strong winds, or if you struggle with joint pain or asthma. 
This could be a great gift for anyone who fits that description as well. Pro tip, when assembling, first attach the handlebars, flip the bike over, and install the tire, all right? That'll make the process very easy. You'll also want to loosen the bolts near the discs uh, at the tires before attaching them. All right, so, uh, so yeah, Aosto Motor has thought of a lot here. They give you a strong, durable frame, amazing tires built for any terrain and weather conditions. You've got the lights, the brakes, the LCD with phone charging port. Really all that's left is just to get out there and have fun. Let us know what you think about this bike in the reviews and comments. For current pricing, please check the description or click that link below. The Aoster Motor S07B Electric Bike. I'm Kenan with New Egg Now, and now you know. What's up, Eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, always bringing you the best products for the sweetest, sweetest prices. As you can see, I've got a gaming desk here. If you're in search of a great desk for great value, this is certainly an option worthy of your consideration. Please hang out with me for just a few minutes while we look at the Boston 44-inch gaming desk together. All right, here it is already set up in all of its magnificence. It comes with a simple instruction guide. All right, simple instruction guide. Let me flip it around the correct way. You got a parts list, eight steps a kid can do it. Seriously, it's very easy, no worries there. Notice the Z-shaped steel frame design. The desk is sturdy. Triangles are mathematically the most stable shape, of course, as pressure gets evenly distributed when applied to any particular joint. The Z-shape obviously makes good use of that triangle structure. Plus the fact that it's a steel frame Strong foundation, very important for any desk, especially a gaming desk, which may have a lot of gear on it, right? As well as constant motion. You get up to 260 pounds of load capacity with the Boston 44. That's very large capacity, right? Most monitors around 10 pounds. So we know that the structure is sound and reliable. The surface is carbon fiber, really spacious, perfect for professional gamers or perhaps illustrators who want room for extra tablets or devices. This carbon fiber surface is stain and scratch resistant, easy to wipe clean. Because of this, you'll get a long lifetime out of the product, ladies and gentlemen. I can't stress that enough. When we buy stuff, we have to consider how long will it last. That's such an important aspect of determining the inherent value of something. The longer it lasts, the less you effectively pay per day, right? If something $100 lasts 100 days, it's like paying a dollar a day. If something $100 lasts 1,000 days, it comes out to 10 cents a day. You get tons of extra features perfect for gamers with this desk. This is included, check it out. You've got a USB gaming handle rack with charging ports, one, two, three, four. All right, charge your phone, charge your iPad, your headphones, all while working or gaming, all right? You got your storage tray, you've got cable grommets here. You got two of them, one, two. Cable grommets, a cup holder on this side, a headphone hook holder right over here, a cable organization bay right here to create that clean, clutter-free atmosphere. You also get this huge mouse pad. Check it out, this huge mouse pad. All right, the Boston 44 makes you game like a boss. All your gear, all your gadgets are easily within reach. Nothing has to be messy. That means you'll optimize the surface for your actual gameplay or for your work. Again, not only perfect for gamers, but great for illustrators, editors, people who want to live stream with multiple devices. A lot of possibilities here. And that's basically it, ladies and gents. You get a super stable Z-shaped steel frame, carbon fiber surface. It's scratch and stain resistant. A really large working area. Huge 260 pound load capacity. Remember, an average monitor is 10 pounds, so it's gonna be really easy to have double, triple monitors. You can have your desktop on top. 260 pound load capacity. Clutter-free cable management system. Extra features like a gaming rack with charging ports, a cup holder, headphone hook, cable grommets, everything you need to organize, everything you need to organize your gaming lair, a professional workspace, or both. All for such an affordable price, which all coalesces down to the most central point, value. Great value. My dear eggheads, 
the Boston 44-inch gaming desk. Let us know what you think about it in the comments or reviews. For current prices, please check the description or click the link below. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with Newegg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. If you want a sweet ARGB fan kit that supports motherboard sync and that has tons of lighting effects, stay with me for just a few minutes and check out the Asia Horse FS9001 ARGB fan kit. At Newegg, we value your time, so let's get right to it and open the box. All right, so this is everything you got here. A quick install guide. You get 12 screws, some Velcro straps, one SATA power cable, motherboard sync cable, PWM cable, one PWM sync hub right here, 2.4 gigahertz wireless remote. Okay, and last but not least, three premium looking, premium feeling. 120 millimeter Asia Horse FS9001 case fans. They've got some substance to them, right? There, there's some mass here, good, strong quality. All right, not just some cheap plastic stuff. You got seven blade fan design with fluid bearing construction. Right away, we see the anti-shock, anti-vibration silicon pads on every single corner. Okay, how many LEDs do you think are in each of these fans? Well, I'll just tell you. Each fan has 20, 20 ultra bright RGB 2.0 addressable LED lights. These are gonna provide full lighting for your build, achieve some magical lighting effects with all the different choices and modes. You're gonna get breathing, static, multicolor cycling. The cross-sectional area of the LED ring in the front is actually slightly larger than the one in the back as well. This helps you understand which side is the front, I guess, and which is the back. And it also helps increase the impact of the visual effects. You're gonna get, you're gonna get two choices to change the RGB lighting, either using the hub controller or with ARGB motherboard sync software. So if you press the remotes, let me say which way is up here, okay. If you press the remotes power button twice, you'll switch to sync mode. The hub is equipped with post width modulation or PWM and mainboard control functions so that the connected fan can be applied in a wider field, such as a CPU cooler, water cooler, etc. Let's just get them plugged in and check them out so you can see for yourself. And we're off, check it out, very beautiful. Really impressed that we can get such premium quality construction along with such great lighting for so little money. Using our remote controller here, we can cycle between three different fan speeds. You'll get up to 1600 RPM, giving you up to 38 CFM of airflow. That's 38 cubic feet per minute. I'll use an anemometer in a second to test that out. You can change the speed of the lights, change the color. You get up to 43 different colors. And by pressing the mode button, you can toggle between 18 different modes. So let me just do that right now. I'm gonna press the mode button a few times. Oh, look at that. Ah, they're chasing each other. Nice. <laughs> this is really cool. Yeah, really just an exceptional amount of customization. And by the way, check out how quiet they are, right? The FS 9001s are extremely quiet. The volume can be as low as 17 dBA. Really impressive. But, you know, but all these stats might mean one thing in a lab, but it's important to see how these fans run in a normal environment like I have here right now. So let's run a couple of tests to check this out. And that's basically it, guys and gals. You'll get up to 30,000 hours of lifetime out of these, so that would be eight hours a day, seven days a week for 10 years. Sounds pretty great to me. If you like what you see, or if you think a friend of yours would appreciate a sweet build upgrade, consider Asia Horse's FS9001s, controlled either through the hub or with motherboard sync. Tons of customization, long lifetime, quiet, great airflow. For specific prices, please check the description or click that link below. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. Hi guys, this is Tom with Newegg Now. So if you are building a PC with a white base color scheme, this might sound pretty familiar. You know, you've got your white motherboard, a white GPU, a white CPU fan, white memory, a white 
computer case, even a white PCU, then suddenly you just cannot find those power supply cables that come in white. Absolute nightmare. But don't worry, we've got you covered. This is the Asia Horse Extension Power Supply Cable Kit. Let's open it up. So crack open the box and we have one 24 pin ATX extension cable. We have one four plus four pin. You see how they split into two? That is an EPS cable. And the rest here, we have PCIe cables. We have two eight pins, right? And we have two six pin, right, for these cables. And finally, we have two packs of combs in black and in white. So what that means is you can connect your components together and still maintain a proper uniform design. And I have to say it is about 11.8 inches. So that's really nice because it means it can extend the reach of your PSU connectors for nice and easy installation, which especially is nice because it builds in with the behind the motherboard tray organization space. So that means you have a lot more options for the way that you arrange your cables. So do these guys actually do their job well? Absolutely. They are actually individually sleeved cables that are heat shrink free and that means you get high quality cable assembly and support for high currents. That gives you superior performance and stability. This premium sleeved cable extension has a triple layer cable which you have a weaving design. So you have a thick PVC insulation layer and at the same time you have a cotton mesh sleeve and the base is 18 A double G wire so you get high speed signal transfer and ultra high power supply. It basically just means that a cable performs how it's supposed to do you know no power drop low resistance and stable power output. So color wise you've actually got some options we've got black and clear or like I've got here you've got black mix as well which means that they're perfect for most power supplies like Superflower, Seasonic, etc. And just don't worry, just choose what you want, you have the color options there. And if you do want more information, just click the link below. If you happen to have these cables already, I'd love to see how you have them set up and read your review. I'm Tom for Newegg Now, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, this is Tom for Newegg Now. If you are looking to protect your computer in a way that looks great and most importantly, won't break the bank, you have come to the right place because I have for you the Dark Flash CS Pink ARGB case fan, which is excellent. I mean, you could almost say I'm a big, um, what's the word, admirer? No, aficionado? That's not it. It'll come to me. Anyway, let's crack this open and have a look. So inside the box, we have our handy manual, the two CS sub fans and the CS main fan and 12 fan screws. So let's try this in a sec. I'm going to keep you hanging in there and I'm going to raise your expectations because these guys should be pretty great. They have blades which are specially designed to rapidly cool the case and they'll go a little bit faster than that. In fact, they'll go up to 1100 RPM. Dark Flash themselves say that it blasts up to 36.45 CFM of air while only producing a very quiet 20.3 decibels of noise at maximum. So, all right, let's, let's see if the, this stacks up. Wow, so these guys are actually super powerful, but still really quiet. They're practically like the John Wick of fans. Almost completely silent, but with a killer performance. That's great, you're probably thinking, but will they actually stand the test of time? Well, this is really important. It features a hydro bearing technology, which has two things that matter, really. It makes the fan operate more smoothly and it keeps it durable and longer lasting. And actually it has a total of eight anti-vibration pads, which means you don't get that vibration noise as it's working. It's gonna be stable on the surface. So that means you're not gonna be distracted when you're gaming or working. So honestly guys, I'm pretty much sold with the price and the quality that you have for it, but we're actually not done here because we also have a lot of cool color effects. And I mean a lot, they did not go skimping on the colors because we have 20 different RGB effects, which all look pretty badass, as you can see. And they're easy to change as well. So you have the lighting, it actually spreads out from the center to all the fan blades. So it looks smooth and high quality. And it has an impressive integrated lighting function, which is compatible with FV three pin motherboards like Gigabyte, Asus and AS Rock. So for easy light control, 
You can also just connect your case's LED button or reset button to pay an interface to this fan like I will do like so. So guys, that is it. I would definitely recommend this set of fans, which are awesome looking, very reasonably priced, quiet, powerful, and they're actually built to last. If that sounds like something you're into, just click the link below. I'm Tom with Newegg Now, and I'll see you next time.